Hi, my name is Alexis Verdugo, and I'm a fourth year structural engineering major and also the project manager of Concrete Canoe. Hi, my name is Reiko Shimizu. I'm a third year structural engineering major and the associate project manager for Concrete Canoe. Now you may be wondering, what the heck is a Concrete Canoe? Well, every year the American Society of Civil Engineers hosts the National Concrete Canoe Competition, in which schools from all over participate in showcasing and racing their very own student-built 20-foot long canoe made of concrete. Due to our increasing participation, dedication, and hard work, our, tier, our team here at UCSD has been able to move up in rankings, placing top three for the past two years at the regional competition, second place in 2019, and third in 2020's virtual competition. So we're going to get into how our team is organized. Um, first with project management, this year comprised of me and Lexi, we oversee all of the other sub teams to create a timeline and delegate tasks to keep them keep the team on track to build a canoe by the conference. So in order for a canoe entirely made of concrete to float, the team must develop a light enough mix that is still strong enough to withstand the loading cases brought upon it. The mix sub team accomplishes this with iterative testing of many different mix designs until it satisfies the requirements drawn from our calculations. Next up is construction. Um, they are in charge of constructing the mold to cast the canoe in, as well as other procedures such as placing and tensioning the steel wires that run through the canoe and sanding down the concrete once the canoe has finished curing. The aesthetic sub-team is responsible for creating the theme for the canoe and developing innovative ways to depict that theme onto the canoe itself and the, the display during competition. For example, aesthetics designs and laser cuts inlays to place on the mold to be later filled in with pigmented concrete. The technical lead is in charge of designing the canoe for the year, 3D modeling it, and then calculating the numbers necessary to ensure that the canoe will remain afloat and improve upon the previous year's design. As you can imagine, building a canoe is pretty expensive, and that is why we have our finance lead who's in charge of obtaining school funding, donations, and assuring that all subteams are staying on budget. QAQC stands for Quality Assurance Quality Control, and this position is responsible for enforcing safety precautions like wearing hard hats, gloves, masks, while working on the canoe, as well as providing a means to maintain the quality of the canoe as best as possible. A newly added position this year is our public relations lead. This lead is responsible for getting in touch with companies, keeping students up to date on social media, and also organizing fun socials for everyone to participate in. The competition lead hosts paddling practices every week, usually on Saturday mornings, to lead those who are interested in racing at PSWC to represent us. At practices, paddlers get to paddle in canoes that we've created, and raced in in the past to get a feel for what a concrete canoe feels like. Now, what can you do? You can attend meetings for the sub teams, apply structural engineering skills outside of the class, make new friends in SE if you join us in concrete canoe. Um, we usually post updates on our Facebook page, so follow our page to get involved. Thank you for watching our video. Here are our socials listed below and we hope to see you for this upcoming school year. Thank you.